morning guys welcome back to another trucking vlog we are getting ready to leave the loves and head to our drop off it's uh, currently nine something 9 47 in the morning and uh, oh my eye edges we haven't gotten our next plan load yet so I don't know where we're gonna be parking because we're going into Charlotte and there's like no parking around Charlotte that I'm aware of so other than the UPS freight yard but I don't really want to park there because then when do you uh, eat and all that you know I was looking at fridges last night though so I am thinking about getting to uh, get a fridge and start cooking out of the truck like you guys have been asking me to for the past couple of months so Hey, you, may, you never know, it might happen. It might happen. <coughs> oh boy. Need to drink some water, my throat is sore. No trucks over eight tires. That's such a weird way of saying that. I don't even know a truck that would have eight tires. I don't know trucks that would have like six tires, but eight's a weird number. If you know of a make or model truck that has eight tires, leave it in the comments. I'm kind of curious. Oh, I forgot there's construction all the way down this road. Ugh. It's going to take a while. Guys, I'm really starting to trust this Garmin. I know I got Trucker Path up too right now, but... Um, Seeing it take me to the same location, let me roll up my window, as Trucker Path uh, really is starting to make me feel good. So, uh, yeah, we don't have another load yet, though, so that's the problem. I don't know where we're going to go park either. I know it's only 10 a.m., and when we get this dropped, you know, it's going to be early in the morning, too. Like, pro we'll probably be looking for somewhere to park around 11. Uh, I'm going to have to message them and be like hey I need another load and hopefully it's a good one because I'm supposed to be getting back to Joplin so I can get some chains and get some reimbursement slips because um, I forgot to move that stuff over from my old truck silly me uh, oh my god we're turning left here onto Wilmar Boulevard that looks like it's clear yeah, I forgot. Last time I was here, I saw the Six Flags, and I was like, that looks like a lot of fun, but it was kind of cold. So, um, but yeah, I think we're going to drop the trailer first, because last time, remember, if you watched that video, we went down, had to park, and then go in, and there was not enough room to make a U-turn. So we might as well go drop the trailer first, and then drive over there and hand them the paperwork, because it's just a lot harder um with the trailer going to take the paperwork in because you got to find a spot to back in and then turn around and head back the other way and this place is just like tight like last time i was here there was no like open slots for this and they were all blindside and so i just parked out in front of all the other trailers so hopefully there's room today to do this but i'm gonna have to definitely get out and look um, because of the fact that there might be some parking, but it's all blindside, and I hate blindside. And I hate this intersection right here because you got a stop sign like literally right by the intersection, so you always have to stop like back here. Make sure the coast is clear, and you can't even see, so. They're good. A, like I don't even think that's a Schneider yard. I think it's just like uh, Like that place gets a lot of Schneider trailers <clears throat> But anyways, we're gonna check in with the guard and then we'll be back. So this is the way to do it. I tell you um, I don't even need to go check in at that building today the guard check Checked it and he signed it That's how they should be doing it. 
because originally, if you don't, if you didn't watch that last video, you have to turn down here, left, Arrive at go all the way down, check in. On the left. I said check in, not chicken. I just feel like it said like chicken from the Garmin. Oh my God, why are all these cars here, dude? And then I gotta find an empty too, but last time I was here, I could not find one to save my life, so we'll see what happens here. There's a lot more space in between these trailers, but I don't think we're gonna find parking. I think we're, oh, there's a spot. Yeah, okay. Please tell me how I'm supposed to even hit that hole. Arriving at 2301 Nevada Boulevard on the left. And there's spots here, but I just, there's nowhere for me to turn around and I'm not blindsiding that. There's an open spot here. There is. I don't even know if we can hit one of those though, to be honest. This place is so tight, dude. I might just drop it. front of the dock, to be honest with you guys. Dude, I don't even know if I can swing around on this. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm just gonna drop it in front of this dock. I don't care. Not even gonna bump the dock, just... Drop it in there. All right. Oh, come on. Look at us. No way, are we already that far back? I need to go see how far, how much further back we can go here. I think, I think we can hit the dock because these are sticking out about two to three inches more and they'll hit here so we can just bump it.
gonna drop it there. So we're gonna drop it here. Um, it should be fine. They should. They should be able to tell, you know. They'll open that door and see that. See that it's still. Uh, I just wanted to make sure I was back far enough that way someone gets one of these spots, I'm not in their way, you know? Then we gotta try to find an empty, but last time I was here there wasn't one, and I saw the one, but I'm thinking that's the one I saw last time and the door, the door was busted off of it, so we'll have to take a look. guys so what we got going on now is that there's a couple people waiting on the board for a load and uh, that pretty much only allows for me to park one place here in Charlotte and that would be the UPS freight yard the only problem with that is there's no bathrooms and it's not like I gotta use the bathroom a lot, but you just never know. You might just get explosive brown water, okay? That just happens. And so what do you do if you get explosive brown water while you're sitting at a place that has no bathrooms, right? Like, you're screwed. I know people have like bags that they do that in and stuff, but I'm not like that, you know? So I asked if it was okay if I went back to the Loves about 40 miles away from here where I was last night and parked there because 40 miles isn't that minute much and I'd rather just be able to park somewhere that I had access to a bathroom. And now I've never had brown water out here which some of you might think I'm lying. But I honestly have it. Um, and yeah, you're probably all surprised by that because I eat fast food all the time, but I've never had brown water out here. But today, you just never know. Today could be the day. We're gonna do a tug test real quick. The brakes are kind of sucky, but then we're gonna pull up. We can do a light check and close the one door. So I'll turn the light check on and hopefully no car comes or no truck comes, I mean. The car doesn't matter, they can squeeze by. But I gotta leave one door open for the guard check guy. Come on, turn signal. There we go. I thought I saw it, but I wasn't sure. Turn signals work. Give me brakes. Give me brakes. I think, there they are. And give me that turn signal one more time. There we go, license. Ew, someone left their freaking underwear, dude. You nasty. I'm guessing they pooped them too, because why else would you take your underwear off here? That's disgusting. All right guys, well I'm pretty sure this is gonna do it for today's video. Um, I'm, I mean, we're headed back to that Loves we stopped at last night, but I don't think we're gonna be getting another load, maybe One not until Monday, today's Saturday. Maybe I'm being a little over exaggerating. I think I think there's a chance we get one tomorrow, but they said there's some people ahead of me on the board and I asked if I should go to um, the loves I was at last night and she said, yeah, that's fine. So, and I mean, that's like, that's 40 miles away from here. So, you know, but I mean, there's a couple of loves here. That guy's a stop sign too. 
Um, there's a couple of loves here, um, but they're just always full and they look super tight. And the loves I was at last night, there was plenty of room, so. Um, and yeah, maybe, maybe it'll get me like, I don't know. I think I'm still in the same region, but it'd be nice if it got me out of that region. But yeah, we got 46 miles to go. And we should be there about, well, 45 minutes from now. So like noon, we'll say noon. We'll be there around noon. We made it back to the loves that we came from last night. It's just down the road. We got a stop sign here. Um, if you guys have been looking for a new TV show to watch, it's not sponsored or affiliated in any way. I'm just letting you know what I've been liking. I've been watching the TV show, 1899. Hey, Garmin. Hey, Garmin. Okay, Garmin. Cancel navigation. Okay, canceled. But I've been watching the TV show on Netflix, 1899, and it's super good so far. I'm like five episodes in. There's only eight episodes total, but I'm like five in, and it's been really good, so um, I would watch it. I'm probably going to finish it out today because, you know, I'm waiting on the load, so I'll probably just kick back and watch it and be done with it. Um, how did they drive in the dirt? Crazy. But, yeah, last night I was, like, walking back from the inside of the Loves back to the truck, and... Uh, there was a guy that had clipped another truck and there was plenty of room but he did not swing wide enough for it the guy was parked on the end and the other guy took him out and i was like holy cow dude how do you take that guy out you know but you know sometimes it happens so i'm guessing this guy's on the board too i think we'll uh Take one of these right here, right in front of the loves. Oh, I don't like all those posts back there, dude. At all. I think we'll go for this one here next to this guy. Tandems are in the box. I have to pull up and fix this here. stop there I think uh, I think we're probably good there but we'll see you guys here in a little bit maybe it might be the end I'll, let you, I'll update you guys when it gets later today all right guys it's uh, currently 8 40 p.m. we've been off duty for eight hours haven't gotten a load yet um, I'm gonna say today's over um, we were like watching a movie and we fell asleep for like three hours so hopefully they're not expecting me to wake up at 6 a.m. tomorrow 
because that's probably not gonna happen. But your boy Jay is about to go get a shower. So, um, sorry there wasn't more content for today's video. Uh, I tried to do the best I could. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe for future content, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace. Come on. Everything is a okay when you're riding with Jay. Keep those wheels turning and we do this every day. Backing up a trailer, look at all the roads I've driven. Come and ride with me. Yeah, let me show you how I'm living. Come on.